Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me again. Um, there was a fight on Sunday. Actually, there was a whole card on Sunday that was on Fight Zone that kind of slipped through my net. And, you know, I'm off work this week, so I'm sort of looking for things that I might have missed, things to watch. And there was an absolutely cracking contest with a very good backstory uh, for the British flyweight title. This was on Sunday, I think it was Sunday afternoon, but I've only just caught up with it. And it was so good, I wanted to do a little video about it. It was between Craig Derbyshire, who was a challenger, and Tommy Frank, who was the British flyweight champ. Now, Tommy Frank, I've seen him several times before. He came into this fight with a 15-2 and two record. And the two defeats were to the same man, uh, Rosendo Guanernos, I think his name was. Um, I'm not sure he was from Argentina. I can't remember. But I saw both those fights. And Tommy retired in the first fight after eight rounds with an injury. He had a badly injured left shoulder. And then he came back um, when he was, you know, fixed and ready to go. He had a rematch and lost a split decision. Both those contests took place in Sheffield. He's, he's a Yorkshireman. So those were only two defeats, and he's British champion. He won the British title um, against Matt Windle, who himself was not a bad little fighter. Uh, the punching poet, he calls himself, Matt Windle. He's a good little fighter, likes writing poetry. Um, and yeah, Tommy, Tommy, I think, had Matt on the floor. I think it was the second round, and then he won a clear decision, 12-round decision. It was, a, it was a deserved victory. So, you know, he's, what is he, like 28, 30, something like that, I think. Um, late 20s, um, Tommy Frank. So he's probably looking to, you know, maybe get to European level. Uh, but he is very, very big for the flyweight division. Five foot seven and big with it. I don't think he'll be at flyweight for much longer. He's going to move, have to move up at least one, one division. And he was in against the five foot two inch Craig Derbyshire. Now, Craig Derbyshire came into this fight with eight wins, two by knockout, 28 defeats, only three by stoppage, and three draws. So you're thinking, journeyman fighting for the British title. What's going on here? But Craig had earned his um, his title shot with three victories in his last four fights. And in those three victories, uh, he had won, I think, the English... No, it was the, the British Boxing Border Control Central Area. Central Area Bantamweight title. Don't forget, he's really a flyweight. So he moved up a couple of divisions and won the Bantamweight title of Central Area. Then he picked up the Super Flyweight English title, lost it, and then I think won it again. So he's got some real form, like three of his last four fights. He's got some, some really good form. This is a guy who lost his first nine professional fights. And he also went on a, a run of seven defeats, um, you know, at some point in his career, and he's he's fought everyone. He's fought Sonny Edwards, Charlie Edwards, uh, mm. Louis Norman, um, Dan Broadhurst. You know, four round, losing four rounders, taking fights on a day's notice or a few days' notice. Definitely a journeyman, but he's never ever left. He's never ever um, lost his ambition to try and win titles, and he's won titles. You know, he was Central Area champ. English champ twice at Superfly, but he's now back down to flyweight, and he's only a small guy. Looking at, it, I looked at his box rec before I before I did this video. I looked at his box rec, and he's been as high as super bantamweight, and he is quite a small flyweight. He's five foot two. Um, if there was a light, is there a light fly division in British boxing? I don't think there is, but if there was, he, he might be able to make it. But he's been fighting much bigger men at no notice whatsoever, losing, but all that experience enabled him to score those three wins out of his last four fights. And lo and behold, he, with an 8-28-3 record, he's fighting for the British title. So it's real Cinderella man stuff. So in he goes with Tommy Frank. And Frank dwarfs him. I mean, like I say, five foot seven, quite big with it. But Derbyshire, this is his world title fight, and he goes hell for leather at him, letting both his hands go, refusing to take a backward step. First, oh, let me get this right now, the first... Of the first three rounds, I gave two to Derbyshire, and I think one to Frank, although you could have made a case for Derbyshire winning that round as well. And then I think it was, was it the fourth or the fifth round? Um, 
Frank is clearly the heavier handed person, the heavier handed fighter, uh, but Derbyshire's work rate is just relentless. But in the, I can't remember if it was the fourth or fifth, I think it was the fifth round, there was a hook, a right, a left hook from Frank, which landed on the side of Derbyshire's head and put him over. L legitimate knockdown, the weight of the punch um, as an advantage belongs to Frank. And Derbyshire, with Derbyshire, it's work rate, with, with Frank, it is definitely physical strength because he's so much bigger and the weight of the punch. But Craig gets up and just starts slinging punches again. I mean, he's he's not going anywhere. He's not quitting. He's not he's not there to make up numbers. This you know, this is his his title fight. This is his his dream, and he's relentless. And sh you know, there's some excellent body work from Tommy Frank. Really, really good body work. And I thought that was the key. Actually, the knockdown in the fifth round, if it was yeah, it was the fifth round. The knockdown was the result of some body work. He hit him with a left hook to the body, I think, and. The, Craig sort of skidded away and then Tommy chased him and hit him with another punch, put him over. Craig said he slipped, but he didn't slip. He was knocked down. It was a legit, legitimate knockdown. So Tommy, it's really a case of between the fifth round and the fifth, sixth, seventh, I think it's, you know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the, the volume of Craig um, or do you prefer the heavier punches from Tommy? Well, we get into the later rounds, the championship rounds, and Craig is still there, and he's still slinging punches like they're going out of fashion. Brilliant. It was a really good fight. I mean, a really good, honest British title fight. I love these fights. I love these British title fights. The British title, that beautiful Lonsdale belt, means so much to, to fighters, to British fighters, and they fight their heart out for it. And so Craig is really raided. And for the first time, I think I remember it was the eighth or ninth round, it looked like he actually had... Tommy in some trouble. It was probably more a case of Tommy Frank running out of a bit of fuel because it was such a high-paced, frenetic fight. Um, and coming to the last round, you really thought, Craig, Craig Derbyshire is going to win this fight. You know, he's, he must be ahead, even despite the knockdown. And he starts really, really well in the final round. He's clearly winning the final round. And then, bang, <laughs> Tommy Frank lands another punch. Legitimate knockdown. Craig's on the floor. He gets up, makes to the final bell. He's not really that hurt. Um, maximum effort from both fighters. Possibly Frank is, was a little bit lacking in energy, a little bit weight drain, maybe. The size of the guy, I don't know. Maybe maybe so, I would think so. I think he's probably out. If he hasn't outgrown it already, he's outgrowing the flyweight division. But the, the, the little the little guy, the, I don't mean it's disrespectfully, but the little dwarf guy, <laughs> Craig Derbyshire, he thinks I've won this. I won this. And then they go to the cards, um, and it's Howard Foster, one fourteen to one thirteen in favour of Craig Derbyshire. And I think it was one fourteen one twelve from Mark Lysom in favour of Frank, and then the final. One was from Howard Foster, who was... No, it wasn't. It was from Terry O'Connor, I think. I'm trying to remember this. Yeah, Terry O'Connor. 1-14, 1-14. It's a draw. Tommy Frank retains his title. Um, and Derbyshire, heartbroken, because this was his big chance. Uh, now, you know, you can certainly make a case for Tommy Frank winning this fight because he had the, the harder hands. But I personally thought Derbyshire did enough, even with... The two suffering the two knockdowns. Um, very difficult fight to score in some rounds. Some and this was way for thin. I mean, all three judges had it so 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 close. So you know, you can't really fault the judges on this occasion. Um, but an excellent fight. Now, I I think what will happen is that Tommy will move up, possibly maybe look for a super flyweight title, British title, maybe maybe go to bantam. I don't know, but I don't think he's got a lot of time left at flyweight. If he does move up and the title becomes vacant. There is no doubt that Craig Derbyshire should fight for that vacant title. Or if Tommy doesn't move up, then the board should order a rematch because Craig Derbyshire deserves that. You know, all credit to him. 8-28-3 was his record coming in, and now it's 8-28-4. But what an effort. What a tremendous effort. And I don't, I'm not, I mean, I sound like I'm concentrating on Craig Derbyshire because probably he had, you know, he was the Cinderella man, but give Tommy Frank credit as well. Some, you know, he did some good work. I think if Tommy Frank had gone to the body more, he'd have probably chopped down, which is kind of strange because he's the tall guy, but he'd have chopped down the little fella and maybe got a stoppage, but didn't work out like that. So 
well done to Tommy Frank for retaining his flyweight, British flyweight, flyweight title. Commiserations to Craig Derbyshire. It was a good fight. Like I say, it's on Fight Zone. Um, and it is, I think it's on YouTube as well. I think I did not watch it on YouTube or Fight Zone. I keep watching loads of boxing. I forget what I've seen where. But check it out if you can. Good good 12-round grueling British flyweight title uh, fight. Um, so what do you think? If you did see it, leave your comments. Thank you again for joining me on Joe Stunner Boxing. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, please. I love it. Just hit the subscribe button. It only takes a second. Like the video. Share the video if you liked it. And um, yeah, thanks very much for your time, as always. Take care of yourselves. We'll speak again soon. Bye for now.